It's no surprise that these types of photos have taken the world by storm in recent years. The way these photographers are wielding light to their creative advantage is nothing short of amazing. And what better way to get creative with photography than work with the very essence of this incredible art form, light itself. So without further ado, let's dive into today's list of 8 cheap yet highly effective ways to create awesome light textures and bokeh effects in your portrait photography. So first up on our list, let's talk about how we can add colorful light textures by using a special prism to refract direct light and emit colorful rainbow effects onto your model. These type of prisms vary greatly and include things like suncatcher prisms, triangular prisms, the underside of CDs, stained glass window stickers, as well as simple chandelier jewels. Take a look at some more examples of this stunning effect in action. As you can see, by simply adding a little rainbow light refraction, you can turn an otherwise ordinary photo into something, well, extraordinary. Some of these prisms can even be brought right up to the camera lens to reflect and distort surrounding light in unique and interesting ways. These reflections will typically render as out of focus in your camera, creating highly abstract shapes and beautiful light leak textures onto your photo. A disco or mirror ball is a fantastic tool to reflect direct light and project a dazzling display of diamond light textures onto your subject. The ideal location is a bedroom or living room with the lights turned off, and ideally nearby a window with a direct source of sunlight. This is important. The lighting that hits your disco ball needs to be direct and hard lighting, so make sure you're shooting on a cloudless sunny day. By placing your subject in a darker location, this will help to create a stronger contrast between the reflected light and your model, further emphasizing the light textures emitted. To the untrained eye, this might look like a simple pasta strainer, but in actual fact, it is so much more. Look, what I'm trying to say is to a photographer, this is no ordinary piece of kitchenware. Instead, this is a shining emblem of awesome light texture potential. And your options aren't limited to a pasta strainer, any cooking utensil or object that contains some kind of hole or pattern perforation is a good candidate to create interesting light textures on a model near you. In fact, in your home, you're bound to find a ridiculous amount of useful items that you can transform from everyday household objects into shining emblems of awesome... Okay, you get the picture. Be on the lookout for everyday objects that contain any kind of pattern of holes. You see, you're really only limited by your imagination or the contents of your storage box circa 2014. What the hell is in here? <coughs> Other really great, simple and effective as well as cheap options include mesh, lace and tool netting. Remember you'll find all the links to the products discussed in this video in the YouTube description down below. Run a quick search on Amazon and you're bound to find a number of different sellers and resellers of these fantastic materials that you can use in your next photo shoot. Live in the jungle? Reside in the Amazon? No? Well, you're in luck, because even the common city dweller has access to some local greenery. No, I'm not talking about Grandpa's stash of the devil's lettuce. I'm referring to your local public park, of course. You see, wherever you might be, you're probably not too far away from a little mother nature. And boy, oh boy, does a simple leaf or plant go a long way when it comes to creating interesting light textures in your portrait work. I mean, the photos. Have a look at some of these photos. Need I say any more? Nope. Now another fantastic object to use is a large straw beach hat or a woman's sun hat. You see, these bad boys are super powerful when it comes to creating amazing light textures and patterns on your subject, especially for headshots. And be sure to check out John Snip. He's the CEO of Beach Hat Light Textures. Don't tell him I told you that. That boy is good. Live in a cold country and don't have access to warm summer beach hat attire like our dear friend John? 
Don't worry, because your boy's got you. A quick search on Google should get you just what you need. No matter what type of item you use, all you need to do is place your model under direct sunlight, then simply place the selected object between the model and said sunlight, and you have yourself the perfect ingredients for some dope ass light textures, my friend. Side note, sunlight really is the ideal preference here for any of the aforementioned techniques to work, but at the end of the day, any type of hard lighting will suffice here, as opposed to soft lighting. Familiarize yourself with these concepts as they are an integral part of the portrait photography experience. Straw or ceramic lamps, lanterns that hang from the ceiling, or even simple candle lights that sit on your table with a perforated lampshade. A decorative household lamp is an excellent source for amazing lighting and shadow effects in your photography. Now these may not be immediately available in your home, but a quick search online and you're bound to find tons of options of decorative household lamps that can be used to emit a wide range of unique light pattern projections onto your subject. Bonus points if you're able to combine and contrast warm colors from the lamp with colder colors from a nearby window lighting. Wow. LED string lights or fairy lights for the mystically inclined You're a wizard, Harry. are an incredibly versatile tool when it comes to enhancing your creativity in your portrait photography and will just plain and simple make some pretty darn right awesome looking images. Especially when combined with lenses that produce very blurry and out of focus backgrounds. My go-to lens is a 50mm but an 85 works just as well and anything that shoots around f1.4, f2, and you're guaranteed to getting some pretty dreamy out of focus effects. When it comes to creating interesting and magical light texture and bokeh effects, nothing quite does it like fairy lights. I'm a what? Hold up the lights to your lens, place them in a mason jar, or simply hang them up in the background and watch as the out of focus fairy light bokeh beautifully frames your model with magical orbs of light. Just brings a tear to my eye every goddamn time. Speaking of bokeh, which by the way simply refers to the visual quality of the out of focus areas of an image, nighttime street life bokeh makes for some pretty awesome light textures. The effect is pretty similar to fairy light bokeh except it's more colorful and, well, chaotic. You never know what you're going to get. Car lights, street lamps, traffic lights, and even building lighting will provide all the nighttime bokeh textures you'll ever need. So what exactly do I mean by a hard lighting texture leak? I don't understand a word you just said. So the idea here is to simply position your model by a direct source of hard lighting, typically sunlight, which is leaking through a crack in a slightly open door or a window or any kind of obstruction in between your model and said sunlight. Because you're using hard light, the edges or lines of the shadows cast will be sharp, creating beautiful abstract textures and shapes onto your model. Now the emphasis here is leaking through. If you want this technique to work, only a small portion of light needs to hit your subject. Now portable projectors might be slightly less cost effective than let's say a woman's beach hat, but that doesn't mean they have to be too expensive. A quick google search and you're bound to find some decently priced options. And the best part about a projector is you're not limited to one set of patterns. Obviously if you hook it up to your computer you have an infinite number of light texture patterns that you can project onto your model. So now that I've shared with you these 8 techniques, now it's your turn to go out there and create something awesome. So since this is my first ever YouTube video, my question of the day is, how did you think I did? Would you like to see more content just like this? Let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to connect with you and talk with you there. So guys, thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you would like to see more videos just like this. And if you haven't yet downloaded my free cheat sheet on how to instantly improve your portrait photography game, I'll go ahead and link that in a YouTube card on screen. I will also include it in the description down below. If you have any ideas or requests for future videos, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. So that's it from me, guys. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.
Oh, 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 oh,